how to avoid spiritual storms by being in the presence of God. Before Jesus calmed the storm, he was sleeping. The apostles woke him up saying, Master, don't you care? We are sinking. Jesus got up and rebuked the winds. He said, Peace, be still. And everything returned to normal. He also rebuked the apostles, calling them men of little faith. When we face a spiritual storm on our own, we are doomed to suffer because we have no power to solve problems immediately. But when we relax and seek refuge in God and ask Him to help us, we overcome any difficulty with divine help. God is peace. So, we can only fight problems with peace. Peace involves, first of all, acceptance of the will of God, forgiveness, and then the Lord will provide the answers we need at that specific moment. That day in the Gospel, during the storm, all the fishes went to the bottom of the sea, where there was peace and tranquility. They felt safe and didn't worry. They simply rested in the bosom of the sea. So, when we have any problem, any spiritual storm, we should be like the fish. We should go to rest and be secured in our Heavenly Father's bosom, in His divine will. That way, we will be at peace, and before we know it, the storm will pass. Peace is the most important virtue that will open our hearts to the presence of God. In fact, it is one of the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, we must be very careful not to let anything take away that peace. When nothing disturbs us, we can offer our inner peace to the Lord for Him to have a place of rest, a little heaven in our interior. In the silence of that peace, God can come and speak to us. This is the private place where we should do our prayers, as Jesus advises us in Matthew 6, verse 6. We should be a two-way process. We speak to God, and then we must also listen. When the surface of a lake is calm, it becomes like a mirror, and it reflects all things. But if it is windy, everything gets blurred and there is no reflection. God rejoices when He can find His image reflected in our souls. But if we lose our peace, there is no mirror on which to reflect the presence of God within us. Before a plane lands, the runway must be clear of obstacles. It cannot land in the middle of a storm. Otherwise, the landing has to be aborted. If we want to lay down to sleep, we need a proper bed. Suppose we were in the country and we wanted to sleep. We would have to remove stones and obstacles from the ground before we would lie down. When we ask God to come into our hearts, there must not be any obstacles to His presence. In other words, there shouldn't be any worries or thoughts about other things except God Himself. God will only visit us when we are in peace, and so it should be for prayer. We should live prayers in the peace of our hearts. This is also the reason why we must live in the presence of God at all times, so that His grace will grant us the gift of peace. But as I said earlier, interior peace depends very much on ourselves on the way we are ready to accept God's will and on the way we deal with unexpected situations or the impertinence of some people. One good way to stimulate inner peace is by doing physical exercises with our bodies and by having plenty of rest. Another great help is by finding God in all things and praising Him and thanking Him for being our Creator. There is plenty of music that is tuned to certain frequencies that bring peace and create a harmonizing effect on our brain waves. 
they are for promoting relaxation and calmness. That type of music, at a very low volume, can be a soothing companion during prayers and meditations. Well, here are some of the frequencies which can be easily found on YouTube. 396 Hz, 417 Hz, 528 Hz, etc. I will leave a link on the description of this video. To recap, we shouldn't allow any spiritual storm to take away our peace. It is very important that we don't try to solve our problems on our own. So, we must let God take care of everything. God bless you.